Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 35. Today we're going to be talking about generic lists. So before we dive into lists, let's go back and kind of review an array for a second. An array is essentially a, you know, a, a group of items of the same type and we, whenever we declare it, we declare it as a fixed size. Uh, so maybe we might have, uh, you know, an array of 20 integers. The problem with that is, you know, maybe at runtime we don't know how many integers there are going to be. And if we end up having 21, you know, we're going to run into some big problems. So what a list is, is it's essentially an array, but it can dynamically grow. And that, uh, you know, the list class does all of that uh, internal, uh, you know, housekeeping and functionality to, to make that work. It actually has a bunch of other cool stuff. So, after this lesson, uh, I say you go to this, let's see, gener uh, generic list. Okay, and you can kind of see all of the different uh, methods here. So, um, so after this lesson, you should go ahead and check that out. But anyways, uh, back to... Um, back to what we were talking about before, essentially a list can grow dynamically, so that resolves that problem. So let's take a look at our program. We've created a class uh, called Ticket with uh, an enumeration uh, for the ticket uh, statuses, a uh, ticket counter for you know the, all the tickets, uh, and you know basically ticket ID, ticket name, pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look where we declared our list. So a list, uh, and this is how we, say, we just say list, and then ticket, and actually this is the, uh, you'll often see the generic uh, like this, this is uh, called a type parameter, uh, so let's go ahead and change that back, um, you know, whenever you're looking at, uh, you know, at the documentation you'll see T, but again that's a type parameter where you actually substitute what type of type you're using, and here we're using a ticket and an int, so ticket list, new list, ticket, really basic stuff. I mean, it's pretty much everything that we've been doing before, only we're just adding the, the gator symbols, and I really should probably figure out what the actual name for that is. But anyways, um, you get the idea. And then we create a second list um, of int, and you'll notice we're not declaring any size here. So what we do is we just say for int i, uh, you know, we ten, 10 times add something to a ticket, or add a new ticket, and add a new uh, integer, and then to print it out, we just do for each, uh, ticket T and ticket list, and the same thing for the uh, int list. And then when we run this, you'll see that uh, it did indeed add that, and you now we can do you know however many we wanted. And again, it'll grow dynamically. So, so it's pretty neat stuff. Um, so anyway, so that's uh, starting off with lists. Uh, next we're going to do queues and stacks, and we're actually going to get into how we define our own, uh, you know, generics. So, or generic collection, because these are collections. So anyways, thank you for uh, joining me tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.